Hey guys, so the subject that we're going to talk about tonight is called ordinary people. And we're all ordinary people. And I know, I know, some of you are like, did Donovan just call me ordinary? Because I know I'm not ordinary. And I don't mean it like that. But when I say ordinary people, what I mean is we're all human beings. We all are fragile, we all are broken, and we're all imperfect. So we walk around and we, we're earthen vessels, as the Bible says in some translations, and we have these imperfections about us. And if we're honest, sometimes we may look at, look at other broken vessels and perfect vessels and fragile vessels and kind of look to them to make us feel whole. But we're still imperfect, right? You may also identify with um, knowing that you're imperfect and fragile and you try to dress up on the outside. So what we kind of do is we, we cover the holes. We cover what we don't want people to see because we don't want to appear weak to them. But in all actuality, those things that we're trying to cover up are actually still there. So what do we do knowing that we are all broken, fragile, and imperfect people? We're also limited. I think um, one of the answers can be found in Isaiah um, chapter 64, verse 8, and it says this. And yet, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are the potter. We are all formed by your hand. In order for a a broken clay pot to know what its purpose is, what its value is, it can't ask another clay pot. But it has to go back to the potter because the potter knows intimately why he created the clay pot in the first place. So what if the very thing that we try to hide, our imperfections, our brokenness, is the things that actually make us human, is the things that actually help us to relate to one another, it's the thing that God wants us to see so that we can constantly run back to him because he is our potter. So we know that we are broken, we know that we're fragile, and we know that we're imperfect. So let's let's hold on to that. But then we have to ask, so what do we do with this now? And I believe the answer to that can be found in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. It says, we now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God and not from ourselves. Basically, what they're saying is, We have purpose. Yes, you, me, these very fragile, broken, imperfect vessels have purpose because God chooses to use us to carry this treasure within us and not just to glorify ourselves, but to glorify God. When you think about a a clay pot, right? Let's say it has a ton of holes in it. And it sells for millions and millions of dollars. We can call that like modern art stuff. But you may have to wonder, hey, what's actually on the inside of this clay pot? And what if the reason why it was sold for a million dollars was because there was a million dollars actually within the clay pot? And that's exactly how it is with us. God has given us the treasure, meaning himself, the Holy Spirit that resides within us, that gives us the power that we need to live this life. So that every time somebody sees something good, something positive, something uplifting, and something um, supernatural, they know that it's not the vessel, but it's the power that's within that vessel. So guys, walk with power. Walk knowing that you have value because of the treasure that lies within you. And for those of you that may be saying, hey, I don't know if I have this treasure within me. I don't know if I have Jesus in my life. I don't know if the the Holy Spirit is within me. Please talk to your small group leaders. Let us know. We would love to talk to you about this. Because one of the best things that you could ever do is have this treasure within you. And Jesus is the one that supplies this treasure. So guys, walk in power. We love you.